guys, today I wanted to share with you a snack bite that does not involve any nuts. I know I do a lot of snack bites that involve peanut butter and nuts, and sometimes there's an allergy or people just don't want to use nuts. So I wanted to show you a snack bite that I keep on hand that is completely nut free. So what you're going to need is either a blender, a food processor, whatever you want to use to chop down the dates. And the first thing we're going to do is put 40, I used about 40 dates. I tried to measure it out, but dates are kind of hard to measure because of the size. So this is two cups, but I used 40 dates. So what you're going to do is just put the dates into your food processor, blender, whatever you choose to use. Um, you're just going to put those in there. We're going to blend it down. And then once they blend down just a little bit, we are going to add a half a cup of raw honey. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the honey to our dates. So this is about a half a cup. You could use like a three quarter cup because I didn't exactly measure out a half a cup. But you know with honey sometimes it gets so sticky. So we're just putting a half a cup or three quarter cup of raw honey in with our dates. And then we're going to go ahead and blend that down. And you want to blend it down until it's like kind of like a paste. It's going to look like a, a paste in there. So once you get to that paste-like consistency, then we're going to stop and we'll add our other ingredients. Okay, so our date mixture is kind of down to the consistency that I want it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Some of the dates are still in there, but we're going to add our other ingredients. So it's going to be fine. We will be able to um, blend it all down together. The next thing we're going to add is one scoop of protein powder. It's completely up to you which protein powder you want to use. If you want to use a flavored one, I'm just using the About Time um, birthday cake. If you want to use... Um, a chocolate, a vanilla, it doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. You just need one scoop of protein powder. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of, I'm using the Kirkland brand pure sea salt, and I just get this at Costco. So we're going to use just a half a teaspoon of the sea salt. And then we're going to use one teaspoon of pure vanilla. Again, this is the Kirkland brand. I buy this at Costco. So we're just going to add one teaspoon to our mixture. So we have our protein powder, our vanilla, and the sea salt. I'm going to go ahead and blend it up just a couple more seconds. You're going to have to take a spatula or a spoon and just kind of scrape down the sides of your blender or your food processor just to get all the dates mixed up because you want that um, consistency all throughout. The last thing we're going to do is add one and a half cup of just dry oats. These are just quick cooking oats. You can use gluten-free oats, whatever you like. Um, so we're just going to add one and a half cups of the oats to our mixture. And then again, we're gonna blend it all up. Okay, so I blended it down until it's like a pretty stiff texture. You may need to add just like a couple teaspoons of honey, just like a couple squirts in there, if you notice it's not kind of clumping up together because you want it to clump together so you're able to form it into balls. So I have it at the texture that I want. I'm gonna use just my little scooper. This is the tablespoon scooper, like a cookie scoop. And all you're gonna do is scoop it out and then form it into balls. I'm going to place it in here and just line it and I'll line parchment paper on top and then do my next row. So all you're going to do is just kind of come in here and scoop out your tablespoon scooper. These are pretty like pliable so I think you're going to be able to get them into a ball without having to roll too much. But all you're going to do is just roll them into a ball like so and then put them on there. Okay guys I rolled out all of the date bites and I got 29. It just depends on what size you roll them out depending on how many you'll get between 20 and 30 balls. So I like to have these on hand. They're a good snack. There's some protein in it, good complex carbs, and some good healthy fat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye!